Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of SurrealNightlife.com. And I'm here today in front of the Cromwell, where this is the hotel where the infamous Dre's Nightclub, Beach Club, and After Hours resides here in Las Vegas. Definitely one of the more popular hip-hop venues in Las Vegas. It is uh, probably the undisputed champion for hip-hop in Las Vegas. If you like uh, that kind of music, then this is definitely probably going to be a place you're going to want to check out when you come here for your Las Vegas vacation. So this video uh, is going to be about uh, the table sections, bottle service, uh, the nightclub in general. So if you're interested in getting a table here at Drake's Beach, uh, I'm your go-to host for that. I'm uh, definitely one of the top independent hosts here and uh, do a ton of work with uh, all the venues here, Drake's Beach Club, Nightclub, and the After Hours. And um, definitely uh, uh, look forward to all the great times that I've had here in the past and coming up in the future with the uh, big artists that they bring. They bring in some big guys like Rick Ross, uh, Trey Songs, uh, Meek Mill, Migos. They brought in you know, Chris Brown in the past and uh, Lil Wayne. That's one of the big hitters on the big weekends. So definitely some fun um, fun parties here. They, they really know how to, to um, move the crowd, if you will. The DJ that there's a resident is named DJ Franzen and this guy, uh, he knows how to work the, the hip-hop crowd for sure. It's definitely a good party here, no doubt. And, uh, that's why it's known to the number one uh, hip-hop clubs in probably the world, actually. So Now, as far as uh, dress code, guys, I, I've run into this in the past. Uh, they used to not allow Jordans, okay, Air Jordan shoes, but they kind of loosened up on that a little bit. You can get in with, like, you know, nice uh, Jordans or, like, even Yeezys um, are, are okay, something along those lines. But you can't get in with, like, any kind of, like, athletic gear. They don't want to have any kind of jerseys, no, like, sweatpants, anything like that. you got to come correct, act like you're going to, like, an upscale nightclub. You want to wear, like, some slacks, some nice jeans, no rips and stuff, um, a nice nicer shirt and then um, obviously you know you know decent shoes you can't wear like you know work boots or anything like that it's got to be like you know upscale high-end sneakers or dress shoes okay um, that'll get you in uh, no problem you know um, I have a whole nother video I'll link it below for the uh, Dre's Beach Club and that's a whole nother um, hip-hop party with different dress code obviously it's more of a um, you know cool party this is um, a video about the nightclub and the bottle service so so let's talk a little bit about the um, the table sections I'll kind of start with the, uh, the inside Side area, the main main floor, and then we'll start at the lower end, and we'll go from there. And I'll flash the uh, sections up as we um, talk about them here. So, uh, when you're going into the main room, the, the entry level tables are typically like yeah. uh, the balcony tables. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> typically the balcony tables, and uh, they're pretty small. They're kind of overlooking the club from the top. Um, generally, you know, four to six people up there would be probably a good number. Uh, but you know, it gets you into the main room. Okay, that's your entry level main room uh, table. Um, the next level is going to be your uh, mezzanine level, if you will. That's going to be the mez tables, and they overlook the club on the right and the left side, uh, kind of spread around. Um, good tables for, you know, a group of, say, 8 to 10, and, uh, you know, you get a nice view of the stage from above, and uh, they're, they're good tables. There's just not a lot of traffic up there. You know, the people um, that have the tables up there are the other people that are up there. There's not going to be a lot of people walking around up there. That's, you know, most of the people are going to be on the main floor. So if you had a, like a self-contained group, maybe some couples or whatnot, and you don't have a huge budget, you want to get on a mezzanine table, get a nice view of the show, perfect for that, okay? And then uh, when you get down on the main floor, you have the banquettes. Okay, there's some decent-sized banquettes that'll hold maybe like up to eight, maybe ten tops. And then there's a couple smaller ones that are kind of really small. They only hold maybe like four people. Um, they're kind of kind of crappy in my opinion, but they're you know they're they're tables on the main floor and they're not that expensive. So the banquettes are all right um, if you need to get something on the main floor and you don't have a huge budget. Um, right up from the main, uh, the banquettes right behind them are the back wall tables. Um, we call those the south and north elevated booths. But those are they're considered the back wall tables. And uh, those tables are pretty good for groups of, say, 12. I've even had up to like 15 in there with groups of guys and girls. Uh, they can fit pretty good. You can actually stand up on the ledge and you can, you know, kind of rage on the on the ledge and whatnot and party. You know, you have a lot, a lot of room like in your area. So, you know, those are good tables and they're fairly reasonably priced for you know, some of the bigger artists and whatnot. You get a pretty nice spot. You got a nice view of the stage and whatnot. So uh, there's also some tables behind the DJ booth. Those are considered like the DJ booth tables. I don't book those too often. They're kind of like special requests. Uh, but if, if you're interested in one of those behind the DJ booth tables, I'm happy to uh, set one of those up. For you guys just give me a heads up and I'll, I'll get a quote for you it's kind of something you're not going to find online but um, I can definitely get you guys uh, something behind the DJ booth in the uh, area um, you know, the only problem is you don't really have that great of a view of the stage from there you kind of got all the lighting and the sound guys right in front of you but you know there is something to be said for being up in the DJ booth and then of course you have your um, your dance floor tables okay there's 
basically uh, four different levels of dance floor tables. Okay, you have your patio dance floor tables, which are going to be your entry level dance floor tables. Those are going to be the ones that are in between the inside and the outside, and uh, they face the stage. They're actually pretty good tables. They're elevated a little bit. You get a nice view, and they're not that expensive. Okay, and then uh, the upper dance floor tables are the ones to the right and to the left of the DJ. Um, just above the lower dance floor tables, okay? So the upper dance floor tables are obviously considered like the, the very prime tables, if you will. And then the lower dance floors are the ones in front of them, uh, which are the most expensive tables. Now there's also, I believe, four tables that are, they used to have a really long big dance floor, but they've cut off about half the dance floor and they actually put tables there. And those are called the VIP dance floor tables, okay? So you got your patio dance floor tables, your VIP dance floor tables, your upper dance floor tables, and your lower dance floor tables. And the lower dance floors are the most expensive, uppers are second most expensive, I think the VIP dance floor is about the same price as the upper dance floors, and maybe even the lower dance floors. And then, um, you know, patio dance floors are kind of your entry level dance floors. Now, if um, the main room's getting like sold out, or you, you don't have the budget, or you, you just want to be outside, you, a lot of the nights when they have a big artist, they'll actually seat the outside. Typically, they'll seat the poolside bank cuts, they'll be low minimums, you can get a pretty decent spot, uh, right by the, next to the pool outside. You know, if you just want to be out in the action a little bit, and there's, you know, usually a lot of people showing up by the pool, you can meet some girls and whatnot, or guys, and uh, those pool tables aren't too bad. Um, I, I've sold them fairly often to guys that don't have a big budget. And, uh, you know, they're pretty good. They're out by the pool. And then uh, also they sometimes they seat the bungalows um, by the pool. And those aren't too expensive on the, even the bigger nights. You get a nice big area. You got the, you know, you can stand on the bungalow edges and watch the show from there. You can see the, the stage and whatnot. So the outside pool bungalows are not bad. On really busy nights, they might seat the day beds and the couches, which are kind of far out. But they're kind of no man's land, if you will, from the stage. But they do see them sometimes. And even the upper commanders, I've seen them seat on really, really busy nights. So um, they, they, can, they can seat the whole beach club on a really big weekend or big artist night but um, that gives you pretty much the whole rundown of the uh, of the venue and whatnot uh, the way it works for booking uh, you just hit me up I will generate a link for whatever you decide you want to go with uh, I generally have the pricing online usually uh, the way their system works if you don't want to pay like a certain minimum and you want to get a lower minimum we do what's called a handshake or a podium tip and what you do with the lower um, with a tip you can get a lower minimum okay so let's do for an example say we have a two thousand dollar minimum and what tip of tax comes out to about twenty eight hundred roughly it's a little bit more than that but it comes out to twenty eight hundred now if you can't afford twenty eight hundred but you want that table well maybe they have an option to do a one K minimum okay so you get less alcohol only one K worth of alcohol but a five hundred podium tip so one K plus five hundred foot podium tip plus the tip and tax on the one K comes out to about eighteen seventy ish okay so instead Instead of paying $2,800, you're about $1,000 less to get the same table, but again, you don't have as much alcohol because you only got $1,000 to spend instead of $2,000. So if you know you're a group that's going to spend a lot or drink a lot, you're going to buy a lot of alcohol, you're better off doing the higher minimum and then that way you're going to probably spend it anyway. So why, you know, don't waste the money on the podium tip if you're going to drink the alcohol. Okay, so you got to compare the numbers. Um, I'll be happy to go over it with you in detail if you want to talk about it on the phone. Um, you can go ahead and just click the link below. I do have a 3D rendering of the um, the nightclub and the beach club on my on my websites, and you can go scroll through and really see the sections, what they like in the club. And uh, you know, if you're on the page with this, then you're seeing this video. You've seen it on the page. And then if you're on YouTube and you just want to click the link below, that'll take you over to one of my websites. Okay. So other than that, uh, you know, it's just a great hip hop party. This place is definitely gonna uh, keep crushing the game, and um, you know. 2022 and beyond. I'm 100% certain they're going to keep big artists and whatnot going here. Um, they've really turned even the pool party into a hip hop party as well. And then the after hours, um, I do work with them as well. And that's definitely pretty much all hip hop now. So, a uh, real good party. And um, if you're into hip hop music, this is definitely going to be one of your spots. So make sure you hit me up. I'll set you guys up over trays, after hours, beach club, or the nightclub. Uh, I am Brian Pfeiffer, and I look forward to working with you. Talk soon. Bye.